I have literally put off this video for the longest time. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jasmine and I make all types of lifestyle content. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and my social media is at Jasmineers. So in today's video, this is the video that I've been literally wanting to make since 2019. Um, this is going to be my weight loss journey. And this is a topic that I kind of skirted around for a really long time, mostly because I felt that I was never like at the ideal weight that I wanted to be at when filming this video. And it's really difficult to talk about that because weight fluctuates and I want to put a disclaimer out there that there is no perfect or ideal weight. I think it's important to love yourself regardless and there's no right or wrong way to look but there is a healthy way to go about this. So, in 2018, um, I think it's crazy because I actually did vlog during this time, and that was when I was definitely my heaviest I have ever been in my whole life. So, in 2018, I was in the middle of nursing school, and I will insert these clips here because I was so so heavy and I don't think I realized it. I don't think for maybe like a year I had ever stepped on a scale before and I would just essentially eat whatever I wanted. I would literally just like there were there was nothing off limits for me so I would eat when I wanted whenever I wanted and I don't think there was any type of healthy balance between that and looking back at these vlogs you can definitely see the reason why i was so big so i didn't step on a scale until i funny story went on a cruise and we were going on the water slide and apparently you have to weigh people to go on the water slide and i felt so freaking embarrassed because me and my sister both had to step on the scale and it wasn't until that moment that i realized holy shit I was 142 pounds and I have never been 140 pounds in my whole life and that was just, I felt like it ruined my whole freaking cruise experience because then I just started eating all these salads but it did make me more aware and that's essentially when my weight loss journey started and I think I just like really, the biggest thing is to be aware and once you're aware of it, that's when you can make the change. And from being aware, you just have to have self-discipline and control to make that change in your life. So that was, I believe it was July 2018 when I realized that. And I'll insert these pictures right here because I was brave enough to take these pictures before. And holy crap, it was insane. God, I just like couldn't believe how badly I was eating. The thing is, I wasn't, I was working out a lot and I thought that constitutes as being healthy and lean and I just thought that, oh, that was just being like thick. Like, no, I was so overweight. I'm like 5'2 for reference, 140 something pounds is not healthy. Um, at least for me, I could feel it in my body, I can feel it in my knees, and I've never been like the most skinny person ever, but I've always been very athletic. I always thought that working out would essentially counter eating bad, which is not true at all. But from there, I started, I would always go to the gym, and I think that's the biggest thing. I would go to the gym almost like four times a week, and I would do these lazy workouts. And I would like walk on the treadmill, run on the treadmill, do essentially just mostly cardio, which is okay. It's obviously better than nothing, but I would always think that because of the fact that I was doing that, I was healthy and I wouldn't check my weight, I wouldn't monitor what I was eating, I definitely wasn't drinking enough water. Um, so from then, I decided to... So from then, I decided to finally adjust what I was eating. So the biggest thing that I started was intermittent fasting. And you can do this at every, like, different times. Um, I've adjusted my times because of the fact that when I work, um, it's really difficult for me to be within the 12 noon to 8 p.m. time block. 
Um, so you can kind of adjust it based on whatever your preference is. Um, but for me, I started with eating at noon and stopped eating at 8 p.m. And that's what really worked for me at the very beginning. And that's when I started actually seeing results. Um, intermittent fasting is essentially eating within a certain time period. Um, this doesn't mean that you, you can. This doesn't necessarily mean that you should be eating whatever, whenever, and stuff in your face. Um, but this is something that worked for me. I was able to portion control and to monitor and stop eating at a certain time, and that's what worked for me. I think a big thing that I learned within my weight loss journey is that you definitely need to be drinking water with your meals and that's what makes the biggest difference. If you aren't drinking waters between your meals, you're more likely to overeat and a lot of the times when you're hungry, sometimes you're essentially just thirsty and I think it's something to do with your brain thinking that you're hungry but you're actually just thirsty. I don't know how to explain that. I didn't do that much research but if you do know the reason why that is you should comment it down below and I think that, that would be really helpful for people. Um, I started dropping some weight and I started to see it and I'll insert my progress photos here. Another thing that I learned was in addition to going to the gym and the gym isn't always like the most pleasurable place for me and sometimes I like drag myself to the gym because it's just the healthy thing to do but something that I learned that was really helpful for me as well on this weight loss journey was the active movement that you actually enjoy so for this it could be things like rock climbing or hiking or something like that for me that was shuffling and if you haven't seen my shuffling video you should definitely check it out I'm gonna show some clips here because I really freaking love shuffling and learning how to shuffle and you burn so many calories when you learn how to dance so it was really really fun for me it was a good way to get in that cardio without just mindlessly going on the treadmill and it was something that was fun for me and Alex to do together and I thought that was really 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 fun and eventually I was able to shuffle at like hard summer 2018 2019 and through all the festivals so I was really excited about that and it was also a good way to get my cardio in. So eventually I became more aware of the things that I was eating and along with like the more so caloric deficit with the exercise I started to see dramatic weight loss. And I don't think that I really saw the weight loss until other people started pointing it out. Um, in addition to just doing mindless cardio, I added in high intensity interval training also known as HIIT workouts. I think the ones that really really worked for me were Hannah Oberg and I didn't do her videos I actually did a lot of her Instagram posts and I would do those like her HIIT workouts that were like five to ten minutes I would do that after my cardio workouts and I felt like that's when I really saw like definition in like my arms and I've never had any definition in my arms because I'm not really an upper body strength type of person so I thought doing HIIT workouts with some weights definitely did help me I realized it around July 2018 and then it was October 2018 where I hit a stagnant and I went from like 142 pounds to 130 pounds and I couldn't break that 130. So I remember there was one day where I just like ate like shit the day before and you'll obviously have those days but what I did was like I fasted until like 6 p.m. Don't recommend this I don't know what the health repercussions are this but that's the day that I finally I weighed myself and I the next day I was like 129 and I was like thank god freaking wall because I I was eating better exercising better and for some reason I couldn't drop 130 but that's what helped me I don't recommend it for everyone I definitely recommend talking with a medical professional like your doctor <laughs> don't know what your health background is but that's something that helped me so finally around February of 2019 was when I finally dropped down to like yeah around February 2019 is when I finally dropped to like 123 pounds and that's when I noticeably saw a difference in the way I was feeling I felt like my mood was getting better my 
body obviously looked way different and you can obviously see it in a lot of my videos I'll insert some clips so that you can actually see the difference in comparison to what I used to look like and I took progress photos to see the difference and I obviously felt very different and I finally started feeling so much better the thing with weight is it's always going to fluctuate and for me I personally had trouble with maintaining this weight the reason why I didn't make this video for the longest time is because I would fluctuate between like 123 some days it'd be like 125, 127 and I would fluctuate up and down, up and down and I didn't feel right as my weight would fluctuate from going for like 127 and that's like okay some days I'd be 123, some days I'd be 121 and your weight is always going to fluctuate it's just depending on your water weight, depending on if you're on your period things fluctuate and you're not always going to be the same exact weight and that's something I had such a hard time coping with um and that's okay like it's not the end of the world if you gain a pound or two and you also have to keep in mind that muscle weighs significantly more than fat that's probably why I hit that wall with the 130 because I was gaining so much muscle and I wasn't dropping any more weight because that fat was turning into muscle another thing that helped me later on in 2019 I think I started in October was yoga and yoga was something that really helped me tone up I think I did a lot of cardio be before that and I would run on the treadmill and I loved running I did running in high school and that's just all I ever knew it's a very passive way to exercise and I love watching YouTube videos and that's what would keep me entertained listening to music stuff like that but Running and cardio in combination with yoga was like a big game changer for helping me to tone up. So from this point, I didn't actually lose any weight anymore. I just maintained between my weights, but it helped me tone up and make, made me feel significantly stronger. And I could tell, especially when I would um, try to lift weights with Alex, that I had more upper body strength. And I think that's what made such a big, big difference. Power yoga, you can see my journey here and how I randomly decided to do it. And it's not just good for your physical health, but it's also good for your mental health. So if you have never tried yoga, I 10 out of 10 recommend it. Yeah, those are just some things that helped me. Um, the biggest thing was the intermittent fasting and the water. Um, your diet is actually significantly more, um, what is it? Your diet impacts your weight significantly more than your exercise and I think a lot of the times when I was exercising I wasn't keeping in mind what I ate so essentially what happened was I completely negated my diet and that's why I ended up being 143 pounds which is actually insane because I'm so short <laughs> and I know that a lot of other people probably are thinking like that's like how much I weigh but I'm literally, I'm not even 5'2", I'm like 5'1 and 75, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like 5'1 and a half, so that's definitely not a healthy weight for me. But I feel a lot more healthy now that I've changed my diet, changed my exercise, and just drinking a lot more water. Um, and yeah. So I'm not saying that there's this right way and that you need to lose weight, but I'm saying that there is a healthier lifestyle and how much better I felt after I shed that weight. So those are some just, so that's going to be my weight loss journey. I hope this helps somebody in some way, shape or form. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below. If you're on your own weight loss journey, I would love to talk to you about it. Don't forget to follow my social media at Just the Nurse and, and like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next video.